Watch. Kim Possible star Christy Carlson Romano reads fan tweets. Don't worry law. Sam Waterston returned for season 21 of the NBC revival series earlier this year. And now, it has been reported that the actor will return for season 22 of the crime drama. This contract renewal makes Waterston the longest-running cast member in the series, with soon-to-be 18 seasons under his belt. This news follows the announcement that Anthony Anderson, who starred as Detective Kevin Bernard, will not return for the upcoming season. Last year, both Anthony and Waterston signed one-year deals. The Dick Wolf created series originally aired from 1990 to 2010 and returned this year after a 12-year hiatus. When Waterston's return was first announced last year, Wolf said, Since day one, Sam has had perfect pitch when it comes to Jack McCoy as a character who both reflects and expands our ability to understand the law. He is the ultimate conscience of the show and I look forward to him emulating the career of new. York District Attorney Robert Morgenthau, who served until he was 90. The series also stars Jeffrey Donovan, Cameron Mannheim, Hugh Dancy and Odelia Halevi. While we wait to hear who else will return for season 22, keep reading to check out which stars have exited other TV series this year. Damian Lewis, Billions. After five seasons, Damian Lewis departed Showtime's Billions in October 2021. Emily Van Camp, The Resident. In August 2021, it was reported that Emily Van Camp hung up her stethoscope for good as she had exited Fox's The Resident. Madeline Mantock, Charmed. One of the Charmed Ones is saying goodbye. Madeline Mantock, who has played eldest sister Macy for three seasons, is exiting the CW's Charmed reboot ahead of Season 4. She said it was her difficult decision to leave and thanked producers for supporting her choice. Megan Boone, The Blacklist. Turns out Elizabeth Keene never will find out the truth about Raymond Reddington's identity. Megan Boone chose to leave NBC's The Blacklist at the end of Season 8, and of course her character was killed off before she had the chance to read the letter that would have revealed everything. Boone marked the end of Leet's journey with an Instagram post in which she called the experience a dream. Read Jean Page, Bridgerton. Season 2 of Bridgerton will be down one Duke. Read Jean Page became the breakout star of Netflix's massive hit drama, and then broke hearts all over the place when it was announced that he would not be returning for the second season. However, fans can rest a little easier knowing he wouldn't have been the star anyway, as the second season is shifting focus, as the books do, to Anthony Bridgerton, played by Jonathan Bailey. Meanwhile, Paige is starring in high-profile Netflix movie The Grey Man with Chris Evans and Ryan Gosling, so we'll be seeing him again soon no matter what. Ruby Rose, Batwoman. Rose played the titular role of Batwoman, aka Kate Kane, in the CW drama. She made her debut in 2018's Arrowverse crossover and then starred in one season of the series. Making history as the first lesbian superhero to headline their own show, as Batwoman came out of the closet in a major TV moment, before announcing her exit just two days after the season one finale aired. The role was eventually replaced with Javisha Leslie as Ryan Wilder, a new character set to take control of the Batcave in Season 2. Later on in Season 2, Kate got a bit of a face swap and returned played by Wallace Day. America Ferreira, Superstore. America Ferreira decided to exit Superstore at the end of Season 5, leaving Cloud9 without a manager and the show without a lead. She ended up appearing in the first two episodes of season six due to the pandemic, and then when season six was deemed the end, she returned for the series finale to give Amy and Jonah Ben Feldman, the happy ending they deserved. Jason Ralph, The Magicians. In the season four finale of the sci-fi series, Ralph's character Quentin completed his quest to save Elliot, Hale Appleman, but sacrificed himself in the process. While the show does feature dead characters, it's called The Magicians after all. Ralph did not return for the fifth and final season. Emily Bett Rickards, Arrow. Ahead of the final season, Arrow's Rickards announced her exit in a poem of sorts. Felicity and I are a very tight two, but after one through seven, we will be saying goodbye to you, she wrote. She did, however, return for a guest appearance in the show's series finale. 
Lauren Cohan, The Walking Dead. Cohan said see you later to The Walking Dead following prolonged contract negotiations. She appeared in a handful of season 9 episodes but after a six-year time jumper character Maggie Green was nowhere to be seen. Producers were hopeful she'd return in some capacity for season 10, and after her short-lived ABC series Whiskey Cavalier was cancelled, they got their wish. Cohan made her grand return in this season's 16th episode, which aired in October. Deny Guerrera, The Walking Dead. Hot on the heels of Lauren Cohan and Andrew Lincoln bidding farewell to the zombie drama came Guerrera's exit. After joining the AMC series in season 3 as the katana-wielding Michonne, she made her last appearance in a season 10 episode which aired in March 2020. Nicolette Sheridan, Dynasty. A recurring player in season 1 and series regular in season 2, Sheridan starred as the iconic character Alexis Carrington. She announced plans to exit the CW reboot ahead of season 3 to spend time with her ailing mother. George Eads, MacGyver. Eads exited the CBS remake in 2019, midway through season 3. At the time, he expressed his desire to leave and spend more time with his family. Damon Wayans, Lethal Weapon. Fox's Lethal Weapon is no stranger to cast exit drama. Clayne Crawford was fired from the series after the second season and his former TV partner Wayans announced his plans to exit the hit drama after the 13-episode third season. I am going to be quitting the show in December after we finish the initial 13, so I really don't know what they're planning, but that's what I am planning," he said. I am a 58-year-old diabetic and I am working 16-hour days. Murtaugh said, too old for. Producers didn't need to work on a replacement plan, though. The show was cancelled at the end of season 3. Cameron Monaghan, Shameless. Ian Gallagher went to the slammer. When Monaghan left Shameless during its ninth season, his character was locked up. In reality, Monaghan was ready to explore new projects after nine years on the show. But, in a true TV twist, he went ahead and signed on to return for season 10 anyway. Hell be present in. Accounted for when the show returns for its 11th and final season in December 2020. Emmy Rossum, Shameless. After nine seasons as Fiona Gallagher, Rossum announced plans to leave Shameless. Emmy Rossum will forever be part of the Shameless family, executive producer John Wells said in a statement. She has been integral to the show's success. From her wonderful portrayal of Fiona to her leadership role on set, as well as directing multiple episodes of the series. We are hard at work now creating a Season 9 finale for Shameless which we hope will provide a Gallagher-worthy send-off for Fiona that honors the great work Emmy has done. It is always bittersweet when an ensemble member decides to move out of the proverbial house, but our door will always remain open for Fiona to return home for a visit, or two. Move back in. I look forward to continuing the stories of this wildly unpredictable family and all of us on Shameless will miss Emmy and her wonderful Fiona. Chelsea Peretti, Brooklyn Nine-Nine. Peretti appeared in Brooklyn Nine-Nine when it made its NBC debut, but she didn't stick around for the whole run. In a series of tweets in 2018, the actress announced her plans to leave the comedy, but maintained she would be back. She even used Emmy Rossum's farewell letter to Shameless as the basis of her own. Peretti welcomed a son with husband Jordan Peele in 2017. Her character was on maternity leave and sat out several episodes in season 5. Andrew Lincoln, The Walking Dead. Andrew Lincoln said goodbye to the blood, sweat and dirt of the zombie apocalypse and left The Walking Dead during season 9. These guys have been the best surrogate family I could have hoped for. But I do have a real family and it is time for me to go home, Lincoln said at San Diego Comic Con. He is however, due to reprise the role in a film trilogy sometime in the future. Polly Perrette, NCIS. After 15 years, Polly Perrette hung up her lab coat and left NCIS in 2018. I believe in God and the universe so firmly, and it just suddenly became blindingly apparent that now was the time, she said. After a lot of thought, I decided to announce it myself on Twitter because I didn't want it to be turned into anything shocking. Abby leaving is more than a cheap TV ploy. 
Willa Holland, Arrow. Original cast member Holland's exit from the CW's Arrow had been in the works for a while, boss Mark Guggenheim told TV Line. She asked to have her episode count reduced and then to be written out in season 6. Her departure just happened to coincide with the return of Thea's boyfriend, Roy, Colton Haynes, and so. They headed off into the sunset together to destroy the dangerous Lazarus pits that her late father had discovered. Grace Park, Hawaii 50. Park, who shot to fame on Battlestar Galactica, left Hawaii 50 ahead of its eighth season. She and co-star Daniel Day Kim left after negotiations to reach pay parity with their co-stars failed. Daniel Day Kim, Hawaii 50. Kim and his co-star Grace Park left the CBS drama in between seasons 7 and 8. In a Facebook post, Kim said the choice to leave was difficult, and Thotha made himself available to come back, but CBS and I weren't able to agree to terms on a new contract. Sophia Bush, Chicago PD. Season 4 of the NBC drama ended with Bush's character entertaining a job offer in New York with the FBI, taking her out of the titular Windy City. In December 2018, the actress explained that she quit the series after a consistent onslaught barrage of abusive behavior. T.J. Miller, Silicon Valley. After four seasons on the HBO comedy, Miller departed, calling it an organic ending. He told Entertainment Weekly, also, in a weird way, it's interesting to me to leave a show at its height. It's interesting to me to see how the show will grow and change with the exit of this character. Aaron Hayes, Kevin Can Wait. After just one season on the CBS comedy, there was quite a shakeup afoot. Hayes, who played wife to Kevin James, left as part of a creative shakeup. However, from the sounds of her tweet, it wasn't a mutual decision. True, I've been let go from the show. Very sad, I had a great experience season 1, Hayes said on Twitter. Thank you for all the support from our wonderful fans. Kevin then moved on, in a way, with former King of Queens co-star Leah Remini. CBS then moved on and cancelled the show altogether. Jennifer Morrison, Once Upon a Time. Emma Swan left Storybrooke early. Jennifer Morrison announced her departure from Once Upon a Time, but then appeared in an episode of the rebooted series in Season 7 to help say goodbye to her character, who simply went off to have a happy ending in a different universe. She later returned for the series. Finalado helped say goodbye to her show. Connie Britton, Nashville. Y'all heard the rumors about Britton's potential exit from the series once it was revived by CMT, but Britton herself downplayed them. Dot for a time. Britton's character Reina died from injuries sustained in a car accident. She took to Instagram to pay tribute to the character in the show after the episode aired. It has been an honor to be a part of that creation. And as I know she would want it, the show must and will go on. Long live Raina Jamies, she wrote. Stana Kadic, Castle. Castle without Beckett? You better believe it. After eight seasons of solving crimes and falling in love, Kadic was let go from the long-running series by ABC. Along with her co-star Tamala Jones, prior to a potential season 9 renewal, leaving Nathan Fillion's titular character to handle things on his own. Should the series return? Following the surprising announcement, Kadic released a statement to E! News, saying, rather than distract from what was an amazing experience I would just like to say that I am very grateful to ABC for giving me the opportunity to be a part of a much beloved show. Thank you to the fans. The series did not end up returning. Nicole Bahari, Sleepy Hollow. Bahari confirmed following the show's season 3 finale that her character, Abby Mills, was really dead as in not supernaturally coming back somehow. Should the show be renewed for a fourth season? It lasted one more season without her before being cancelled. Michael Weatherly, NCIS. After 13 years with the show, Weatherly, who was with the series from the start, announced he would be leaving NCIS. He is a valued part of the CBS family, and the Immense charm and talent he brings to the screen as very special agent Tony Dinozo has helped make NCIS what it is today, the number one drama in the world, CBS.
said in a statement, We thank Michael for all of his contributions to this successful franchise and look forward to continuing to develop projects with him as part of our ongoing development deal.